turn to a find that's rocking the world of archaeology. Deep inside the long-buried ancient Roman city of Pompeii, the discovery of a well-preserved skeleton and what it says about the cultural life of a once thriving city. CTV's Todd Battis has that story. Nearly 2,000 years after it was destroyed, Pompeii continues to offer surprising glimpses of life in the ancient city. As tourists once again stream into the historic site, nearby scientists are working at a spot of a new discovery. Remarkably preserved remains were found inside a tomb. With the hair still being visible, part of one ear uh, conserved, this is exceptional for Pompeii. This is, or was, Marcus Venerius Sucundio, an actor. While finding him is significant, normally adult bodies were cremated, the inscription on his tomb that reads he performed plays in Greek is rewriting the story of Pompeii. Theater, music, we don't know, but what is important for him is to um, to, to underline that it was in Greek and Latin. It's the first proof that the Greek language flourished alongside Latin before Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. That's very interesting because it tells us something about the cultural atmosphere in this period. Using new technology, researchers have mapped the tomb and the skeleton. Fragments of fabric, even the white hairs on his head, provide insight to who this man was. Just days ago, the ancient Roman equivalent of a fast food joint was open to the public, complete with cooking pots and paintings. There have been several discoveries of late. Recently, a fresco was uncovered. Six months ago, a near intact chariot was found. The popular image of Pompeii with its victims contorted and encased in ash must now make room to include the skeleton of an actor. Todd Battis, CTV News, Halifax. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.